hello beautiful people welcome back again to my channel so today it's another valentine's day diy easy valentine's day diy and this time i will be making or showing you how to make lady valentine diy and also um, some other gifts for her for valentine's day so stay tuned my name is nara g and welcome to my nook but first, if you're new to my channel, welcome and I would love it if you can hit that subscribe button and join my new Pedro family. And for my returning subscribers, thank you so much for sticking with me as always. So now let's get started. So for our Lady Valentine DIY, we would need some roses. I'm using some velvet roses that I got from AliExpress, some glitter, link to this will be found in the description some baby breasts that I got from the Dollar Tree Gypsophilia I will be using some silver beads as well from the Dollar Tree Mod Podge I'll be using this cardboard that I also got from the Dollar Tree as well as this foam board all right I will glue this onto this now let's get started so for my lady valentine day diva i started off by sketching out her face using pencil and then use a marker to trace it out uh, you don't want to start off with a marker of course because you will not be able to correct any mistakes that you make you can also purchase uh, a template if you want to but i thought since we're doing this on a budget you might as well draw your own face all right so this is very similar to my my Christmas diva reads that I made if you haven't watched that video yet you may want to click on the link above or check the description box and watch those videos as well so I'm pretty much doing something similar but just different because of course it is Valentine's Day and we want to do a little Valentina okay <laughs> so yeah and what more can we use to show Valentine than roses okay so i'm in love with this velvet roses guys i got this from aliexpress i will find the link and actually have that in the description box because i got this a while back but any rose will do so i went ahead to glue this onto the um the foam board after placing and knowing exactly where i wanted this to go so once this is glued i already marked the areas where i want to have the roses glued onto and i will proceed to doing so so just watch as i do this So keep in mind that you can use any other flowers of your choosing. You're not obliged to use just roses and baby breaths. I am using this out of personal preference and also because Valentine's Day and roses go so well together. I love a baby breath and roses combination. I was actually surprised to find baby breath, artificial baby breaths actually, at the Dollar Tree because um, it is not very common, okay? And they actually do really look like the natural ones, except the leaves, of course. So yeah, and just watch as I complete this. Okay, so I chose to have this glued onto a foam board again because we're doing this on a budget but alternatively you can actually have this on a canvas for longer use as well that will be perfect okay so now I will go ahead to use these beads to make some jewelry for our diva for our lady Valentine okay and so I'm giving her some bracelets as, uh, as well as some earrings okay so um, I did use some of these beads in my last week video on how to make uh, high-end wall art with charges. So if you haven't watched that series, the Charger Play DIY series yet, make sure to check it out after this video. I will also have the link in the description box below. Thank you. So, what's a diva without some glitter and some glam, alright? We need some bling, okay? <laughs> to make our diva pop. 
So I will be using some of this glitter. I will put the link in the description box below where you can actually get this and also um, the Mod Podge. So I already have that in the description box of all of my videos. So I'll be using Mod Podge to actually glue this down. So I just want to highlight her lipstick as well as her lips. I just want some extra pop on there just so it stands out. Okay, so watch as I complete this. Also, you can use paper flowers to do your Lady Valentina DIY and if you, if you can't um, get artificial flowers or if you find them expensive. So you can actually do paper flowers and use for this or tissue paper flowers as well. Alright, um, for my Christmas Diva wreath or my Christmas um, Christmas Divas that I made, um, link in the description box below, I actually used uh, the uh, ornamental balls for Christmas and if you're able to find pink in those then, and red, then yes, you can definitely do a Valentine's Day Diva doing, using that. But I'd rather go with flowers than using the Christmas balls because that screams very Christmas and not Valentine to me. But it all boils down to personal preference, okay? So once I was done applying the glitter, I allowed it to set and dry for over an hour and then I went ahead to dust it off and then use my brush to wipe off any residue. So now I will go ahead to do the same for her lashes. I just felt I needed her lashes to pop even more. So I will be using some black glitter over her lashes. I am really loving how calm my Lady Valentine looks so far. So um, at this point, if you can, since we're talking about love and Valentine's Day, can, if you've watched right up to this point, could you please comment below what your love language is? For me, my love language is crafting and DIY. <laughs> okay, I'm kidding. But yeah, I would say that's my love language, okay? So I will be using this white lace fabric which is also from the dollar store and this I got a long time ago. I'm not even sure why I still have some of this in my stash. But yeah, I'll be using this to create some kind of an off-shoulder uh, dress for my Lady Valentine. My very beautiful, sensual Lady Valentine. I just love how everything is coming together. And this is a very, very, very easy Dollar Tree Valentine's Day DIY. It is very versatile. This can be used in a student room, like a girl student room. It can be used in a salon. This will make a perfect wall art in a salon, okay? Or any beauty shop, spa, you name it. And you can also use this in your home if you're a fancy person, likes glam and beauty. Yes, you can definitely use this in a nice cozy space in your home. And you can also use this in uh, a baby girl's room, can be gifted to a friend, you name it. There's just a lot of ways you can go about this, all right? So I will use this popsicle sticks to actually create some kind of a frame around this because like I said, I'm using a foam board and I felt the, pops the popsicle sticks kind of like complement your skin. So I thought to use this uh, as the frame for our Lady Valentine. And this is our final look. I just love her, I love her. Uh, you tell me, is Lady Valentine good enough name for this beauty or do you have another name for her? Do let me know in the comment section what you would like to call her. I just love these velvet roses. They're coming through guys. It screams so natural to me. I just want to get some more of this. I just, I just really love it. Alright, so I decided to use some of these um, candle holders right next to it because it's red and also tried it with my centerpiece, which I mean. Uh, you can also check the link in the description box to watch how I made the gold um, centerpiece. So yes, I am loving this. I am just loving this, guys. I can't even begin to explain, but I just love how calm and sensual and very Valentine, Lady Valentina, looks to me. <laughs> Alright, so do comment in um, the comment section below uh, what your love language is. And if you've watched right up to this point, please do comment love and show your girls some love. Okay? Thank you so much. So let's have a closer look of our Lady Valentine DIY and then move right on to our cascading roses and chocolate.
So for our cascading roses and chocolate, I'll be using some Ferrero Rocher and these boxes that I got from the Dollar Tree for $1.25 guys. I got these boxes during Christmas period and I'm really really loving it. I couldn't believe that I actually got this for $1.25, they're so nice. Alright, and of course I'll be using some more of the Velvet Roses, I really love the feel of this. And then some kisses, chocolates, some paper, tissue paper, and I'll be having them placed on this mirror. And so let's get started with this without much ado. So for the cascading chocolates, I'll be using the red box because it gives more of a contrast. I love the feel of gold on red and of course Valentine's Day, red, you know. <laughs> so I'll be using this tissue paper and stuffing it because I don't want to have to fill this entire box with chocolate. I don't have that many chocolates guys, but hey. If you have a lot of chocolate and you're actually gifting this out to someone, you may want to fill the box to the brim, all right? Do not put paper on the <laughs> All right, so I'll be stuffing this uh, with the chocolate and then I will go ahead to put the, the lid on halfway through. Because this will not stand by itself, I'll be using my glue gun to glue it on the side. Just a little bit of it. You don't want too much glue in there because you want to be able to use the box after, especially if you're only doing this at home for maybe some kind of a Valentine's Day party. So yes, and that's it. Now I will go ahead to glue the chocolates, cascading down on the side from our box. I'm using very, very little amount of glue here because it's chocolate for crying out loud. And I love the fact that Ferrero Rocher has this paper, this brown paper underneath where the chocolate seem to be glued within. So you can actually pluck it out of that. All right, so it makes it easy for you to actually glue this on without actually, you know, touching the chocolate and also easy for your guests to actually pluck that out of the box or out of your cascading box. All right, so just watch as I complete this. And that is it guys, it is very easy. And that's it, so our cascading box of chocolate is done. So next I will be doing the cascading flowers. So you can use any flower of your choosing. So same procedure, I'll be using some tissue paper, just so I do not have to fill the entire box with the flowers and then have some of the roses over it. So this setup will be perfect. You can actually use, use this as a centerpiece for your Valentine's Day party. If you're receiving guests over, or if it's just a party for two, yes, this would make a romantic dinner setup, all right? So I'm using some of the roses from our Lady Valentine Diva to create the cascading roses. For our last box, the silver box, I will be pouring the rest of the Kisses chocolate into this box in no particular order. I just love that this has some silver, pink and rose, and, um, sorry pink and red and red Yeah, for, for Valentine's. This is very Valentine. And here we go. So we have all our boxes set, our chocolate boxes and our roses and it is just the perfect Valentine's Day centerpiece that is also edible, some of it of course, not the roses. But yeah, I love Ferrero Rocher, if you know me you already know that. So yes, this looks very romantic, very cozy and if you're looking to propose to your girl this Valentine, you can actually have this set up in your home because of course you can't go out, it is quarantine, <laughs> lockdown, so yeah, you can actually do a setup like this and go down on one knee and you know do the needful <laughs> well that is just me saying but yeah so this is our cascading roses and our cascading chocolate box and i just love how simple and easy it is to do this and it looks just sophisticated loving very you know thoughtful at the same time just enough to scream valentine do let me know in the comment section how you incorporate this in your Valentine's Day decor. I would love to know, all right? So let's take a closer look at this. So yeah, if you're looking to propose to your girlfriend this Valentine, so you can definitely do something like this to keep it simple because maybe it's just the two of you at home and it's uh, a surprise, maybe having her come back from work and then see this, I don't know. <laughs> However you want to do this, I just feel this will make the perfect centerpiece if you're trying to do a nice small surprise something for someone this Valentine's Day on lockdown, okay? So uh, do let me know again in the comments section how you will incorporate this into your Valentine's Day event or into your Valentine's Day overall, into just any event of yours if this is something that you definitely like to try sometime. 
And so that sums it up for our easy Valentine's Day DIY video. So if you did enjoy this video, please do not forget to hit that like button and also hit that subscribe button and turn on notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. In the meantime, always remember to be your fun self no matter what life throws at you. Thank you.